textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. From the three-yard line, second down. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. He's tackled at the two-yard line, and he gets a yard on the run. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short gain. So here it is, tie ball game, and we're on the one-yard line, third down. They line up in the jumbo set. Touchdown, Cougars. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. And now that these guys have broken the tie on that touchdown, we'll have to see if their defense can hold on to the lead. And he hits the PAT. Well, only a quarter remains, and we've got a tight game with the score. Houston, 21. Georgia Tech, 14. Houston, kick this one off. And this is just a booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. Well, they have a little bit of time, but I think it's very crucial that they get the ball in the end zone on this possession. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. He may have changed things up here. They'll run the option. And he carries the ball for a nice game. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. That brings up second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 25. They try the option, left side. They go to the left for a nice gain. A four-yard gain by the halfback on the option. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Gets out to about the 31. Now the defense didn't surrender much room there, but the run was still enough for the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Trying to lock one long. He's got a man wide open. Oh, man, he would love to have that one back. As a quarterback, anytime you have an open man downfield, your eyes light up and you're thinking, touchdown. You throw the ball with all that adrenaline, and a lot of times you overthrow your receiver. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Here's the option left. Runs outside for a nice game. So the option play to the fullback's good for about four yards. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Now the quarterback has to be careful here not to leave his receiver so vulnerable like that. He took a licking right there. Fourth down, the punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Plenty of hang time on this one. A 
They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. They'll go to work at the 23. First down, 10 to go. Just under three to go in regulation. Off the right side, and he finds a wall. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Two yards. That'll make it second to seven. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Houston is up a score. Just over two minutes in the game. Catches it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. First and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. Gives it off. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Makes the catch and look out. And they bring him down at the 26-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. The Yellow Jackets are going to take a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. One yard loss for the halfback. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 27-yard line, second down. Just over a minute left. Up the middle, brought down by a host of defenders. Georgia Tech will call a timeout. That was their second timeout. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. We have less than a minute to go. Gets it out to him again. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And that might have done it. They took a gamble with the pass, but the defense couldn't come up with the stop. and goal from the one. Expect to see something straight up the middle. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Hands off to the back and he's in. Well, they were doing everything they could to find their way out of this hole, but the hole just got a lot deeper. You're right, Brad. You can see the offense down there talking on the sideline. You've got to believe they're going to come out with the quarterback in the gun and run a little no huff. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Houston 28, Georgia Tech 14. Houston is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Well, now you've got to be thinking end zone on every play. You just don't have the time to do anything else. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. We've got a first and 10. He drops back. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Drops back to pass. Looking long down the left side. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. Well, the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. This one's in the books, and our final score, Houston 28, Georgia Tech 14. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? Well, this was shaping up to be a really close game, but they did what they had to do, made some big plays, and were able to pull away. Houston could have just as easily found themselves on the other end of this score. That's how even these two teams were coming in. But they played the better game today and should be very happy about the win. Well, this young man is our player of the game. A donation of $10,000 will be made to the school's general scholarship fund in his name. Thanks for joining us in NCAA Football 12. For Kirk Herbstreit and Aaron Andrews, this is Brad Nessler saying so long.